Hey everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad and today I'm talking about the must-have apps for the BlackBerry Passport. Now, if you haven't done so already, um, click on the link above. Um, we have a tutorial on how to install Snap into your BlackBerry device, which will allow you to install Android apps. Now, as you guys probably know, you won't be able to install all um, Android apps because you need Google Play services for most of them and BlackBerry will not allow that. So, yeah. But anyways, um, here's a list of our must-have apps. The first app I recommend is a browser, and that's Firefox. Um, one of the reasons I like Firefox is you can actually sync your bookmarks with your desktop version of Firefox. And so that's one main difference between Firefox and the default browser, which is aptly titled browser. Um, another application that I do like, um, Especially if you want a map alternative, we have two different ones. One is called Waze, which if you guys haven't used it yet, it's very great if it's very great. It's great, especially if you're driving um, long distances during rush hour, it tells you where traffic accidents are and whatnot. And another one is OSM and um, just download the free version. You don't need the paid version. Um, this one works really well. For those of you who need music alternatives, um, as opposed to the regular default music file. I I use Spotify and Amazon Music. Um, if you have Amazon Prime, that will also work with this device. And for Amazon Music, you actually don't have to go to Snap to download it. You can actually just go to the Amazon App Store app and download Amazon Music from there. And Spotify, Pandora works as well. Um, I just prefer Spotify. And for those of you who want a 60-day free trial, click on the description below. Speaking of descriptions below, um, I'll also give you um, a description to how to get 200 gigabytes to OneDrive. And OneDrive is great. This is the default one. It says connect to OneDrive. Um, I actually don't use this one. You can just connect that and delete that one. Well, delete it and download the OneDrive from the Snap Store. And you'll actually get another three gigabytes if you turn on automatic backups for your photos. Um, for instant messaging, BBM is already great, as well as text messaging, but if you need additional ones, WhatsApp works great, so does Viber and Skype. Um, additional apps, for me personally, is Office Mobile. Now, I know BlackBerry has been touted as a workhorse device for professionals, and docs to go does work quite well, but for me, I just prefer Office Mobile, and you can download that one from Snap. Now, with Office, you'll have access to two different applications primarily, then that's Word and Excel. Um, you can edit PowerPoint, but you won't be able to create power, a new PowerPoint from Office itself. So you might just want to keep docs to go as a backup. Or if you do want another um, PowerPoint alternative, BlackBerry Express is quite good as well um, to create PowerPoints. And here's a testing one I did. Just testing. And that's it. <laughs> All right. Now for shopping purposes, eBay, Listia, and Amazon Shopping work quite well. The interface is exactly the same as Android, um, so it's, there's not really too big of a difference between these and their Android versions. Now, if you like social media, um, you won't be able to download Instagram, but iGran from the um, from the snaps actually, excuse me, from the regular App Store, the BlackBerry World Store, will work, and we're signed in, and it works quite well. Um, the interface isn't exactly as clean as I would like, but hey. You take what you can get, right? For those of you that use Interest, you're in luck. Um, Pinterest is available for BlackBerry. Just use the um, use the Snap application to download it, and it works just fine. Or you probably won't be able to download all of the applications you want. So, for example, here, just a case in point, YouTube application from Snap will actually not work because it requires Google Play services, and. It won't even launch in this part. We have a YouTube version um, from the App Store, which is just a basically a mobile website, which you don't really need that particular one. Um, you can just go to any browser and just type in m.youtube.com. All right, well, that's our short list of must-have applications. Um, I know some of these are basic and, oh, sorry, Reddit in Motion. For those of you who love Reddit, a definite must-have. Now, 
Now, like I said, these are just the basic must-have applications. So if you're looking for more or if you have a question on which type of applications you can download, please feel free to leave us a comment. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.